completely unexpected video T5 so um, yeah my brother messaged me and he said uh, he goes oh you got the golf sorted I was like no it had to go to a specialist he was like oh I need to bring the T5 round so he's dropped the T5 off taken his Safira and uh, he goes oh yeah it's knocking there's like a it's knocking there's a knocking sound so he took me around the block and we had a listen and it is knocking there's like a knock and a rattle um, but it's weird because it's not just over bounce it over bumps it's also on acceleration and braking um, I have no idea what it could be so I've literally just come out to investigate And the heavens have opened. <laughs> it's typical, typical. So I don't know what it is, but I've had a look around. You know, I had a quick look underneath, and what we have to do, we have to jack it up. Yeah, we'll have to jack it up and then we'll have a look, see if there's anything loose. But I genuinely don't know what it could be. Um, it's a really weird kind of rattle sound and knocking as well. Uh, so it's all been jacked up, got it up in the air. I've had a look underneath and had a little investigation. Um, the coilovers, everything seems fine in there. Nothing's moved. Everything's tight. I've checked all the wheels, made sure everything's tight, checked all the brakes, making sure everything's tight. Um, and it's the first time I've really got underneath and had a look apart from at the MOT station. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see. You might be able to see better on the other side. But I think I found what the issue was. If I get underneath here quickly. So. Let's start over on the passenger side. The uh, tie rod end. That's quite no that's loose and quite noisy. Um, the ball joint. That's torn. And you can see there's, well, all the grease has come out of that. I've checked everything else, everything is tight. Everything that I've touched was tight, right? So, that's quite noisy. Oh, I didn't show you as well. And up here on the plastic, I think this is one of the big issues. That plastic is completely loose. And not only that, um, this bit of plastic here, I don't know how well you can see it, around the drive shaft. That was actually locked in and it was caught on the little clip. So obviously every time it was going round, it was making all sorts of, must be making all sorts of racket. And that weird rattling sound would have been on this side. Because this locking nut for the uh, tie rod end, that nut was completely loose. And it was, just, it made a hell of a racket. Like it's not now, but it was, it was, it's, it was loose. You could hear all the rattling, and I think that was the sound of the rattling noise and the vibration coming through, along with obviously the um, those tie rod ends need changing. So yeah, both ball joints that was completely perished. But it's going to be fun on this side because, as you can see, for some reason someone's cut that off someone's cut the bottom of the uh of that off um i don't know that could be fun because when i removed this removed the hub i undone these and undone the ball joint from there i did actually tell my brother that it needed replacing the ball joints but that would be something that we have to get done now he's got no choice so two lower ball joints two tie rod ends Yeah, and everything else is tight. So hopefully that should sort out all the rattles. Awesome. Right, let's get out from under here. Right, so that's my assessment on here. So I'm just gonna lower it all down, put it all away, and then we'll speak to my brother and see what he wants to do. Whether he wants me to go ahead and order the bits for him, or whether he's gonna order the bits. But Either way, yeah, rattle rectified. <laughs>